the base is your cutoff saw's foundation. All the saw's major components are attached to it, including the cutter head, fence, and the vise. The most common issue with the base is damage caused by dropping the saw. This can result in a bent base and an out of alignment saw. Replacing the base is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the top-down hold-down clamp. With it removed, now I'll tip the saw onto its side. On the underside of the saw, I'll remove the two bolts that secure the front of the vise. Next, I'll remove the retaining ring that secures the vise jaw. Now I'll remove the two screws that secure the cutter head to the base. and I'll separate the base from the cutter head. Next, I'll remove the fence. First, I'll unlock the fence clamp, and then I'll remove the bolts. Now I can begin installing the new base. I'll place the fence onto the base, aligning the lock pin with one of the holes. I'll place the cam lock back onto the fence, and I'll tip the base up to reinstall the clamp. I'll start each of the bolts by hand and then again use my Allen wrench. Once the bolts are nearly tightened, you'll need to tune the clamp for the proper clamping force. It's still too loose, so I'll keep tightening. Closer. It's a little too tight, so I'll back off the bolts just slightly. And that seems good. Now I'll reinstall the base to the cutter head. You'll notice there's two sets of holes that the saw can be mounted to. For our saw, we want to use the upper set of holes. There are alignment pins that will first align with the base, 
and now I'll secure the base with the screws. Now I can reinstall the vise. I'll align the vise with the base and I'll first reattach the rear block. This gets secured with the screws. Now reattach the vice jaw with the washer and the retaining ring. And last I'll reinstall the top down clamp. And that's all it takes to install a new base on your cutoff saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.